Hey, what is happening, gaming world? Welcome back to Jihad Gaming. I am Jihad, and this is The Last of Us Survival Walkthrough. We, in the last episode, we walked into the sewers, and now we are continuing our journey through the abyss. Sort of alarm. I don't hear anything. There's someone used to live here. Don't look like that's the case anymore. As you can see there are some house rules. Someone who thought they could keep, keep door closed at all. What does it say? Make sure door doors are closed or doors are locked. Uh, ask for password if you can't something or other and here we got ourselves a new gun which is one of my favorites and we are going to use it a lot oh, awesome. uh, calm down. hey Sam yeah. Sam with a coat Oh, <laughs> did you see that? Let's keep it down, buddy. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So, kids playing a little soccer. You know, it's it's uh, you know obviously this place is it's safe. And Henry, get out of my way. You know what? Fine. I'll just I'll just go around you. Whatever. You're you're just gonna be that way about it. Fine. What what a oh goodness! Anyway, and here we are coming up on the first part where we're going to use the little shorty, which is like a mini shotgun or mini shot off shotgun, whatever. Henry just pushing me through the door there. Here we go. I got real lucky with the um with the infected because by now the clicker should have already went through like should have went over the thing already and killed me. But luckily it did. So Seeing how there was a clicker, they've been going for a while. So yeah, that's good. Everything seemed to work out for the better on that exchange. There's another artifact. So anyway. Don't know what's going on with that uh, clicker's arm there, but some parts. And here in this room, you'll probably find another artifact. They didn't suffer. A uh, guy with a couple of children. I guess he was turning, and he decided he didn't want to. He didn't want to. Uh, slaughter the kids so yeah he killed them and then I'm guessing he turned and and kinda rotted away in here so so anyway a whole lot of people, and by the time they get to this part, they're like, where does the clicker come from? And it's like, well, they probably come from that sewer and up there on top of that part. So, here we go. We're going to continue on through. Sam! Yeah, I'm cool. That was me. I must have triggered some kind of safety gate or something. Henry, see if we can lift this. Is 
So, this is awkward. Yeah, I know. It's like any time. Clickers! No. What? Hey, this thing isn't budget, man. Just go. Get out of here. Sam, you stay close to him. Henry, we gotta fucking move! You keep him safe! Go! So yeah, anyway. They're gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna show you guys how to fight your way through on this one. I'm going to die. I died like I don't know, fifteen, twenty times during this part. I was trying to find the way to make sure I get it just right. Now um Yeah, see I failed there. What you what you need to do? I mean, if you could stealth your way through, fantastic. Stealth your way through. If you can't do it, then stop trying to do it, and do what I do and fight your way through. Cause I do this, I fight my way through every time I get to this part, because I just can't stealth it. So here's what you do: grab your shorty. Wait till the clickers get up, real close to you, by, by the point where they can be one-shotted, just like that. And now, all you got left are these runners, which you won't need a gun anymore, because you can just basically just punch them out. So yeah, if I'm lucky, hopefully Sam would. Help me out here a little bit. So yeah, you just gotta like pick them off one by one. It's not all that difficult. So here we go. I thought, and, and they're all girls too. So, which I didn't, I didn't really notice. It makes sense since there's like a nursery in the top floor. So yeah, it just it just makes a whole lot of sense now because I mean babies need mommies and you know mommies taking care of babies and you know I have no idea where this runner came from. But it startled me. I was scared there for a moment whenever I was playing it and I thought, oh my goodness, it finally got me. They get me a few times, I'm not gonna lie. Like right here at this part. Yeah. Just can't let it, you know. Try not to let it, you know, like overwhelm you, because I know that I know it can be hard sometimes. I mean, what really helps me, right, is by the point, by this point, where I've died so many times, I get so irritated at the game, I just want to punch everything. This is, this is just me and my way of like smacking the game, uh, you know, smacking the game around a little bit, you know. So, that, that's what helps motivates me a little bit. And I think this one here is the last one. If I could get a hit on it. There we go. You did it. Yep. We're gonna keep that's it. Going. You good? Yeah. We did it. Yay. Okay. So now that you've taken care of all of them, make sure you check around. Yep, there's some vitamins. Make sure you check every area. N not knowing, you know, you know, there could be something hiding, some tools, some parts, maybe a shiv, depending on what difficulty you're playing on. Uh, just a whole bunch of fun little fun little stuff to pick up. 
like a bat or a upgraded uh, <laughs> two by four. Apparently, you won't get nothing if you play on survival. Because I just got done looking around and absolutely nothing. Look at this place. So, yeah, here's the nursery part. Briefly. I showed you guys, but I forgot to check down on this area. There was some there's some blades, some blady parts. Not bad. Some more parts. So, and we can't go up that way. So yeah, here's the nursery. And goodbye to the nursery. Go <laughs> ahead. Uh, so, so yeah, that was that was it. <coughs> baby cribs and and baby toys and stuff like that. So they had like a rain catcher, which uh, catches the rain and and kind of like uh, Is that preserves the water, which makes sense. It does. Because, I mean, who, who, no one's going to want to drink the sewer water there. Because, I mean, even though that it's clear, uh, it hasn't been poo water for like the past 20 years, it's still in the sewer. So. And my mom, she, she watches like Naked and Afraid. So, apparently she's a better survivalist than I am now. Dude, she learns from everyone's mistakes on that show. And apparently, if you don't purify water, like water that you get out of the stream or out of the ground or anything, if you don't purify it, like if you don't heat it up and boil it first, it, it, apparently it's not safe to drink. So you need to boil it first and purify it, so... And there's nothing here but one little Molotov. Alright. Can't upgrade melee. Here, give me a boost. I can get through that window. We have room for a health kit and a smoke bomb. And we have some vitamins for or a fourth health kit. Go. So let's go ahead and throw that nail bomb over there. Get our Molotov ready. Henry, you idiot. That's a good way to get hurt. And there we go. And I thought for sure this is the part where I die. I, I thought, oh my goodness, this is it. And I'm like, by this point, I'm like, come on, kids, did you open up the door already? Come on. Come on, where is it? Did they? Yes. Good. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Two mollies. A nail bomb. Fresh air. Hopefully, you'll be able to get through it, no problem. Look at this. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Thanks for the warning on the other side, guys. So where's this tower? We're close. Come on, let's go. Oh. Hey. How you doing, little man? That was a close one, huh? Yeah. Not one of our finest moments, but... We made it out. Yeah. Now, in the next episode, you guys are going to see me take on the sniper in the suburbs. Because that was really fun. 
Hey, look at that. Yep, what I tell you, huh? Let's find a way around to it. What about you? How you holding up? Business as usual, right? When I was with Henry, I took out a couple of infected by myself. You'd be proud. Yeah. I am proud of you, Ellie. Good job. So, in the next area, the suburbs, right now it's, it's, it's time for looting and searching to find stuff. But in the next episode, I take on the sniper in the dreaded suburb area. And that part there disappointed me. Because... How did you two end up together? Oh, I... I mean, as much as... A friend of mine, Marlene, asked him to take me to the Fireflies. You seem to get along well. Yeah, well... Now I just boss him around. <laughs> Isn't that right, Joel? Psh! Yeah, okay. Anyway, as much... As difficult as that part is... There is actually quite a lot of stuff in that part that you can get from those houses. Like, what was this place like without? Like, if you go to the left, can't even imagine. There is really not much of anything. Maybe a pack of sugar and a health kit, maybe. Like a little granola bar. I was just five when the cordyceps hit. My memory is pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues. Parents, they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people. You know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. Will shoot on sight. <sighs> Lots of friendly people lived here. First few months after the outbreak, they had a lot of looting. Everyone got paranoid. You remember any of that, Joel? Yeah, everyone barricaded themselves in their homes. And supplies started running low. That's when you saw what people are really capable of. Okay, so that part right there was an optional conversation that you needed to get for the trophy. If you hadn't gotten it already. Uh, there's a here's another optional conversation, which I don't know if you'll need for uh, the trophy, but it's just real real nice to do this one. Oh, this is an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck? Yeah, Henry told me about these. They sell ice cream out of the truck. What? No way, Joel. That's true. This thing would drive around and play real loud, creepy music, and kids would come running out to buy ice cream. You're totally fucking with me. Mm-mm, serious. <laughs> Man, you lived in a strange time. <laughs> Told you so. So, yeah. I like that one. That one there is one of my favorites. Because, I mean, you got to remember, Ellie wasn't born during our time, so she doesn't... She doesn't know what ice cream is. And later on, she's going to make like a, a pizza joke reference. Um, and she doesn't even know what pizza is either. So. Ima imagine, imagine for yourself, for the first time of your life, never ever experiencing pizza until one day... One day, like in your 20s or so, you're like, hmm, I'm gonna try it. And then you're like, oh my god, where have pizza been all my life? Oh. You're, you're just, you're, you would be so amazed. But since, er, but since everybody has it now, we take it for granted. So, I love pizza. Pizza's one of my favorites of all time. Favorite food. 
It, it doesn't really even really matter what kind of pizza either. It could be like Little Caesars, Papa John's, Snappy Tomato, um, Pizza Hut, Domino's, just whatever. I love all kinds of pizza. I've pretty much had them all too. Like if I, I've never been to like places like Chicago or New York before. But if I did, the first place I would visit would probably be a pizza place. Just so I want to try out their pizza. You all right? Yeah, sailing's falling apart. So here you're wanting to get Ellie up there. Watch yourself. A lot of people miss that part. So, yeah, just, you know, don't miss it because then you'll miss a uh, training manual, which will upgrade your Find anything? Uh, melee hits to two hits. I believe. Yeah, melee weapons upgrade modification lasts two hits longer. Yeah, so see there? You guys would have missed out on that, and I think that right there is probably one of the most important ones that you can get. Um, so yeah, here we are coming up, coming up on the last house, I believe, that we need to search. I don't know why I'm walking backwards. Uh, okay, I don't, yeah, there's no way in entering that house. So here we go into our last and final house where there's more parts I believe a comic book and a safe that's going to have vitamins and parts in it so oh and here's like another little optional conversation that you will also need for the trophy is when Ellie and Sam are like playing darts so yeah it just Ellie. You, after they get done, then you have to mess around with the reading. dartboard and things of that nature. And I don't know. Since Joel is like from Texas, I thought he would have been like really good at darts. You know, I figured you know he's like, oh, he goes to a bar, you know, and, and you know shoots pool and plays darts with his, you know, buddies and stuff like that, but I guess, I guess it doesn't matter where you live, I guess there are people who are poor at playing darts as well. I thought it was just a, you know, you can't label people, that's what I'm trying to say, all because he's from Texas and he's like a rough cowboy, you know. Don't don't ever expect him to be good at playing darts. I'll go first. That's all I'm saying. Oh, damn it! All right, your turn. Okay. Just throw it. Yeah. Boosh! I am a natural. Luck. No, it wasn't. Just luck. Yeah. <laughs> all right, get out of here. You're getting cocky. Here we go. Fuck! Horrible. All right. It's a tie. Uh, no, no. You you clearly got destroyed. How did I clearly get destroyed? That's practically a tie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come a day where kids can just be kids again. Let's go. Wow, Joel, that was that was really, really bad. So you come outside to this tree over here by the little kids' um, playhouses, and there should be a firefly pendant up there in the tree. Yep, there it is. And if you can somehow manage, see it and. Um, throw the brick at it boom there you go I trust more throwing a brick at it than I would shooting at it Fire at least the bricks 
bigger, heavier. That's more of a chance of getting it now. My brother actually, he, he was a firefly. Last I heard, he was so, we get there, here, we coming up him. on uh, this part right here will be Ellie's last and final uh, time she will tell a joke for her trophy. Uh, okay, you guys are killing me with your The last and it's fifth time. time. What is that? Just bear with me. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Never mind, it was too cheesy. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, you idiot. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> and now Sam will have a joke. All right, I got a joke for you. Let's hear it. Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? I don't know, why? Because then it would be a foot. <laughs> that is so dumb. I love it. <laughs> I, that one there was. I did like that one. That one there was pretty funny. Clever. Clever. So, yeah. Anyway, now that all the fun is gone coming up on the dreaded suburb sniper area if you guys like the video then be sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel then please subscribe i would very much would love to support and with that out of the way guys i'll see you all in the next video joel versus the sniper